Hi, I'm Craig. I'm an ex-blue man. Not part of the group. I was just a man who was blue. And this is Mental Floss on YouTube. Today I'm going to answer David Lev's big question. Why are blueprints blue? Nowadays, blueprint refers to any sort of plan, whether it's blue or not. But originally, blueprints had to be that color because they were copies that could only be made in blue. Let's get started. Or did we just answer the question? Let's get started. <laughs> The process of making copies may seem simple now, but architects used to have to do it by hand, tracing copies whenever they needed one. Experts estimate that the invention of blueprints reduced the cost of copies to one-tenth of what it originally was. And you didn't have to friggin', you know, just draw all the time. Blueprints were invented in the mid-19th century. People needed a better way to reproduce plans for architecture and other projects. And some scientists found that a combination of ammonium iron citrate and potassium ferrous cyanide created a solution that could help with this. How did they find that out? They're just throwing together, oh, what about this ammonium iron citrate and this potassium ferrous cyanide? Woo, 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 blueprints. Scientists are amazing. So to make a blueprint, you coat a sheet of paper with that solution and allow it to dry. Then you make the original plan on cloth or tracing paper. You place a sheet on top of the paper that will be blueprinted. Then shine a bright light onto both. And that's when the solution of ammonium iron citrate and potassium ferrous cyanide do their thing. And by do their thing, I mean they create a new compound, blue ferric ferrous cyanide. The reaction turns the paper blue, and the lines on the original plan have blocked the bright light, so the blueprint stays white where those lines are. Basically, a blueprint is a negative, and the reason that blueprints are blue is because the chemical reaction doesn't allow another color or even shades. Of course, nowadays it's pretty easy to use a photocopier, a technology invented in the 30s that became mainstream in the 60s. But it took architects and engineers a while to switch away from blueprinting. In fact, the majority of those two fields turned to photocopies during the early 2000s. And if architects or engineers want a blueprint-like copy nowadays, they tend to create a white print instead. It's basically the opposite of a blueprint, white paper with blue lines. White prints require diazonium salt and azo dye, which are less toxic than the chemicals used in blueprinting. I wouldn't drink them though. Thanks for watching Mental Floss on YouTube, made with the help of all of these nice diazonium salts. If you have a big question of your own that you'd like answered, leave it below in the comments. See you next week.